everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for uh, Libra the Sun moon and rising if you're interested in any of the uh, services that I provide or wanting a private consultation look at the description box below you'll be able to find my contact information on there also if you are trying to support my channel I recently opened a page with patreon so if you want to check it out um, again like I said to support my channel and to uh, have me give you guys more content when it comes to my videos uh, then I highly encourage you to check it out okay so anyways let's get into this reading this is going to be for Libra so let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid month of August regarding your love and romance this is gonna be my last shuffle as I've been shuffling for quite a while now okay so I went in the messages for Libra's for the mid month of August 2017 this one Okay, let's get into your reading. Whoa. <gasps> okay. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to give that. This is so unbelievable. Okay. So what's going on with you guys, Libras? Hmm. Okay, so your first card is the Eight of Cups. Second card is the Two of Swords. Third card is the Three of Swords. The Six of Swords is your fourth card. And your partner's cards is the Three of Cups. The Ace of Wands. The Sun card, which is a major arcana. And the Nine of Pentacles. So, this is very contrast, as you can see. Uh very light cards here very dark cards here so a lot of you guys are dealing either with mental anxiety or dealing with some type of depression whether it has to do with your past or whether it has to do with you guys recently breaking up uh, I definitely do see a separation here let me get the center issue spirit what is the center issue for Libras for the mid month of August 2000 center issue this one okay so your center issue, the issue that's going on at the present time, you have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is definitely either dealing with a fire sign. Uh, some of you guys may be dealing with the fire sign, as I do see the Knight here, and I also see uh, the Sun, which the Sun is a representation of Leo and an Ace of Wands. So you guys may be dealing with the fire sign, again, like I said, which would be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Uh, or... You may be dealing with um, with an earth sign. So an earth sign would be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Okay, so this Knight of Wands is definitely wanting communication or a message coming through for you guys uh, in regards to your relationship. Let me move these cards. So... You have the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups is walking away from a situation or walking away from a relationship. The Two of Swords is uh, stuckness or not wanting to make a choice. Uh, the moving away part could be a representation of looking towards the past, as the Eight of Cups does have to do with the past. It is connected with the past. Um, walking away from a relationship, perhaps in the past you walked away from a relationship, and now being in the situation that you're in or with the person that you're in, uh, there's a feeling of stuckness. There's a feeling of not knowing what to do, not knowing whether to move forward or move backwards. Uh, it, it, but I feel that this is a fear of you making a choice because in the past you have made choices that obviously didn't pan out, pan out the way you wanted, Libra. So what I mean by that, it could have been that in the past you were in a relationship where perhaps they did more for you than you did for them and you very quickly and easily walked away from them uh, and when you did that now you have a major fear of basically fucking things up there is a fear of you like you're just not moving you're not wanting to make the choice you're not wanting to cut ties you're not wanting to walk away and it has to do with the fact that either recently you just recently found out you were betrayed 
you were lied to. Or it could be that it brought you heartache from the fact that you came to the realization that the person you were with in the past was a person that was right for you and somewhat of a regret. I don't feel that this Three of Swords is recent. It may apply to some of you guys that recently found out that your partner is with someone else. Uh, but I feel that for the most part, this is dealing from past heartaches. It could have been the loss of someone as well. And the Three of Swords is like you haven't healed from that. You haven't moved on from that. But I do see you guys moving on from that and pulling away from that. Or again, like I said, healing, finally being able to heal. The Six of Swords also represents the promise for new beginnings or for, you know, uh, calmer waters as regards to the relationship. Now, how your uh, partner views the situation or how they're seeing the situation play out. You have the Three of Cups here. You have two, three cards. So there's definitely third party energies or there's definitely some type of cheating here. Okay. Sorry to break it down to you guys like that, but I'd rather just be straightforward. There's an ace of, there is an ace here uh, of wands and the ace of wands is the starting point of passion or the beginning when it comes to a new relationship, something refreshed, something renewed has nothing to do with, you know, kind of like working in the relationship, I don't see that happening. I feel that for some of you guys that, you know, haven't been together with your partner for quite a while, could have been three months, an example. Um, this person very quickly jumped into a new relationship and that's what is making it hard for you. That's what you're not wanting to face, basically, that whether you want to or not, it's time to move on. Now, there may be some pregnancies here because there is the Three of Cups. Sorry. The Three of Cups here. And the Sun, definitely childbirth. The Ace, pregnancy with a boy. And this is a single card. So, again, I do want to mention for some of you guys that recently found out um, that a, maybe a past lover is pregnant and like it came out of nowhere. You were thinking that they were being single or it could represent the person that you recently broke up with very quickly jumped into a relationship and you just recently found out that there was some cheating involved, obviously, because this person is pregnant. Okay. Now, for those of you that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with, again, like I said, uh, the ending of a relationship or the betrayal of a relationship. But for some of you guys, you guys are deciding that you're going to wait it out. And the reason why you're going to wait it out has to do because you're not wanting to move forward based on the fact that perhaps recently some of you guys found out that they are pregnant, that your, your partner's pregnant. Okay, but I definitely do see, I mean, this, the nine of pentacles is definitely the single card. So whether you guys try to go against the waves, uh, sometimes it's life lessons that teach us, that makes us grow. And unfortunately, sometimes that new beginning always comes right after an ending. Okay, so I hope this resonates to you guys. Like, comment, share it, uh, my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see from each other soon. Okay, bye.